Okay, so we've been talking about film thickness a lot. We've been talking about what's optimum. Um, and I, I've said that, well, you can't just pick one out of the air. How do how does Kaiser go about deciding how much film we put on some? Um, some of it's based on experience, uh, based on problems that have happened in the past, um, based on we know how much film we put on something and, and the customer calls and says it's doing this or that. Um, and so we learn from those things. But the, the first place that an applicator goes to is the technical data sheet for the product. The manufacturer of the liquid coating or powder coating is going to have a recommended film thickness right on the technical data sheet. Okay, So that's where they did their testing. Um, usually for a powder coating, that's two to three mils. That's it's usually right in that range. That's pretty much what's always on the data sheet. That does not mean that you can only apply it two to three mils. It just means that's what they applied it to when they tested the product. Uh, liquid coatings varies a lot. Uh, depends on the product you're spraying. You could be down in the one to two mils. You could be two to four mils. You could be four to six mils. You could be eight to 10 mils. You could be 14 to 20 mils. Liquid coatings has a really wide range. Powder coating, not as much. It's almost always gonna be two to three. There are some thicker films that you might see like an eight to 10. Um, those are very, very special powder coatings. So, technical data sheet's the first place to go. The next thing that we do at Kaiser is like, okay, is this inside or outside? If it's going outside, we need more film thickness. If it's going inside, we don't need as much. Um, is it gonna be blasted? Yes, okay, if it's blasted, we know what our blast profile is at Kaiser. We know that we need to fill that blast profile, and then we wanna add two to three mils, okay? So, for us, a blast profile, average through about all of our medias is probably two mils or so. It's gonna change depending on the type of metal and the pressure that we're using and the media we're using, but let's, for easy number, two mils. Okay, so we know if we blasted something, we've gotta put two mils of film thickness on to fill the blast profile, and then however many mils that we want on top of that, usually kinda of going off what the data sheet is recommending and some of our personal experience. So. If you're going inside, uh, Kaiser would say two to three mils. An interior application, not blasted, two to three mils. Um, interior application that's been blasted, probably three to four mils. Uh, exterior application, we always recommend blasting for exterior, so you're gonna have, have be blasted already. Um, we're usually probably, I'm gonna recommend four to six mils. Like that's a good range to where it's gonna look good and you're gonna be able to have enough film thickness on there that's gonna fill your blast profile, um, no matter really what you're blasting with, and then enough to build some film thickness so you got really good corrosion protection. Typically when we're getting in with powder coatings, if you're starting to get up to four to six mils, you're gonna have to do that in multiple coats just because it's not gonna look aesthetically pleasing if you don't. And um, the same thing with liquid coatings, but it really depends. So two to three if it's interior, four to six if it's exterior. That's usually what we're, that's usually what we're shooting for. And that's pretty close. If you, if you uh, look at data sheets that are more technical and specifying for certain applications, those film thickness ranges kind of fall right in line with industry standards.